Hi guys! Today on Diva Skin Cook, we are cranking up the oil and making these crispy buttermilk onion rings. They are so easy and they are the bomb. Let's go! Okay, we're going to start by cutting up our little onion. Just make little slices, just like this right here, about a quarter of an inch or so. Then we're going to separate our little onion. You don't want the really tiny ones, okay? So just go ahead and just set those aside. I like the nice big ones like this right here. That looks perfect. All right, now I have me some flour, just regular all-purpose flour. I'm going to add in some cornstarch. I'm going to add in a little bit of flour. Just dump that on in there. And next I have some yummy yummy spices here i got some smoked paprika mm-hmm i got some onion powder some black pepper just you know you can use whatever you like but yeah i put some sugar in there as well go ahead and mix it on up and now it's time to coat our little onion slices in this flour mixture very lightly just you know put them in there flip them around take them off just like that okay very simple and easy here i don't soak my onions my um onion slices or anything like that i just go ahead and just you know coat them and they're good to go okay so now we are going to whisk this little egg up right here and just dump that right into that leftover flour mix it on up just like this it looks perfect and now we're going to add a little bit of buttermilk just add enough buttermilk until you have like a really thick batter a little bit thicker than pancake batter okay I think I use like a cup or something. My voice is doing crazy things again, you guys. Crazy things. Okay, so that looks good. We have this yummy, yummy seasoned batter. Now it's time for our breadcrumbs. I always use crushed croutons and it is the bomb. You can change the flavor up and it just gives the finish on your ring a nice, beautiful texture, nice little crunch to it. So yeah, I don't even fool with that panko. Croutons all the way. Okay, so we're done. We are ready to play. We're going to start by dipping our little onion rings into the batter mixture. Pull it out. Let the excess drip off. And then we're going to just place it right into our crushed croutons. Just like that. Use your other hand and just kind of coat that little bad boy up. Just like that. You might got to, you know, press it on a little bit if you need to. And that's it. And then just go ahead and repeat that until you have all of your little onion rings beautifully coated. And make sure you really get everything coated. That way you won't have any like little ball patches in your onion ring. <laughs> you know that little, okay, anyway. Um, and at this point you can also start getting your oil ready to start frying your onion rings. I use peanut oil to fry mine. When that oil is nice and hot, go ahead and just dump them right on in. And let it fry on up beautiful see how that oil is like nice and calm it's frying them but it's not like going crazy that's a beautiful perfect temperature and then when the underside is done go ahead and just flip it over like this and get everything all nice and golden and brown and crispy and perfect look at that beautiful crispy crunchy mm. I'm going to place this on a cooling rack to cool off. I have some paper towel up under so they can just kind of drip down. Because you don't want these like sitting in their own oil as it cool off. Mm -mm. And then I have to go ahead and just hit it with a little bit of pink salt. Okay. That's optional. And now we are so done. Past that Mississippi comeback sauce. I love this sauce you guys. Have you had it before? So good. But there's the inside. I love how this batter is nice and tight. Okay. Nice and tight on this onion rings. Perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every Thursday and Sunday at 8 o'clock. Later.